So if you're like millions of Canadians across the country, you may have started your morning with not a cup of coffee like I do, but a cup of tea. There is a new study that's just come off embargo this very hour coming out from researchers in McGill at McGill who are warning of microplastics in your tea bag. And let's go to Scott because he has a, what is a very interesting breaking story this morning. Yes, and a somewhat alarming story as well. If, if Canadians out there like their fancier teas and those silken bags, uh, they could be drinking billions of particles of plastic in every cup they consume. And this is out from McGill University this morning out of Montreal. And here are the bags. They're the pyramid type of, uh, of tea bag on higher end teas, on fancier tubes and they're described as silk and in fact that silk is a form of plastic contained in water bottles for example but unlike water bottles these bags are, are submerged in boiling water and that's potentially releasing they're releasing they're saying uh, 16 one uh, uh, billions of micrograms I should say or a 60th of a gram of plastic in every single cup and the McGill survey goes on to say that in water fleas for example take a look at this dramatic result that water fleas eating these uh, microplastic particles the same size as their food uh, it causes them to act uh, radically and so this is an alarming study out this morning from McGill and the author of the study was surprised at how dramatic how much plastic these uh, these cups of tea contained here's the author of the study and how surprised she was at the results we were actually expecting to see maybe just a few particles of plastic being released from these plastic tea bags into the water but we were really shocked when we saw that it's your, the tea bags were actually releasing billions of plastic particles into a cup of tea. And the study goes on to say that they recommend uh, if people use this as uh, silk and tea bags, these pyramid type of tea bags, that they should stop. And they're simply using uh, paper tea bags instead, Heather. And this is a, a growing, growing concern. This is all new to me, and yes. this is a bit of a jaw dropper. Isn't so. It? You know, it may very well be to others watching as you talk about this for the first time. What if people stop turning away from some brands? I guess there's a business impact there. Uh, it's a huge impact. There's 10 billion cups of teas that the Canadians drink every day. A lot of people drinking at least a, a cup of tea. And they're saying this, you know, this could be, according to the study, go back to paper tea bags. But the silken tea bags represent a dramatically increasing segment. More people are drinking this type of tea bag than in the past. And it's growing that fancy sort of urbanite settings as far as the fancier teas that have a fuller tea leaf inside of it, not the crushed and powdery tea leaf that paper tea bags concerned. So buyer beware in this instance, but a very alarming study out of McGill this morning. Okay, and up online at cbcnews.ca if you, if you want to read any more about it.